Oh dear. Why do I look so orange? Mm. We're gonna put the shades on because I'm a frightful sight. Mm. Mm. And uh had a little bit of stuff waiting for me. Um a couple of packages here. I hope. I have no idea what these even are. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get these upstairs. Hold on. Yeah, um, oh my god, why do I look so terrible? So, I haven't been to my house in a hot minute, and uh, I'm supposed to be going out with my friend Megan today. We're going to go get our nails done, except I'm going to be getting mine redone, because I got them done yesterday, and I hate them. I hate them so much. Like, I just wanted a simple, elegant... French manicure and after like the fourth or fifth try I was like you know what this is fine so I'm hoping if we go to a bigger city they'll be a little bit more precise with their stuff so I'm gonna head over there in a little bit and we're gonna have a girl's day so I'm gonna go ahead and open up these packages fix this because I got my hair done yesterday and my hairline from the dye looks really bad. So I'm gonna fix my face and go hang out with her and I will vlog in a little bit. Really? Why do people do this? Like, you mean trees you just killed? Okay, so my lip butter finally came in, thankfully. I've been wanting to try this forever, but every Sephora that I go to doesn't carry it. So it's the Cora's Lip Butter in Jasmine. Ooh. I like how natural it is. Ooh, I like that. I can dig it. I need to take my subs out of my car because they crackle a lot and I don't, but I know it's not normal. Um, I don't know why they do that. Okie dokie, so I feel like all I do is vlog in the car. It's just so awkward to do anything else. Like I'm getting better at vlogging places, but it's like, it's weird talking to a camera. Um, to follow up from yesterday, my camera died in the middle of my appointment. My friend Haley came to basically, you know, assist me with filming um, and I did have permission from the woman that was doing it. I can't say where I got it done though because she's not the owner, um, but I will say she did a very good job. Uh, my skin is a little sensitive and it did bruise, but not to the point where it's like, oh my God, I'm so bruised. Um, I was red and a little swollen, which is very normal. And after you get it done, you're still a little sticky. So, I was just sticking to everything. Like, I made the mistake, I, my socks, I guess I had, when I got off the table, they had some wax on them, so my socks are stuck together. 
my underwear <laughs> was stuck to me. I wore shorts, so when I sat down in my car, <laughs> apparently my shorts had rode up a little bit because they were stuck. So then my butt got stuck to the seat, and I was like, well. <sighs> so, yeah, I liked getting it done. Um, there were moments when it was a little painful, um, mostly towards like the center. Um, usually where you get razor bumps is where it's kind of painful. But all in all, I liked it. She said it'll last about four to six weeks. Um, so if you guys are thinking about getting a Brazilian, I would recommend it. Because, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I like that I'm not going to have to worry about razor bumps anymore. She said to get some tea tree oil or organic coconut oil and just rub it over the area. that Because it is still a little red and it is bruised. It is sensitive. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping that will go away before it's time to go on vacation. Because I'm going to be wearing a swimsuit. And I don't want a, a purple... not gonna say what I was gonna say I don't want to have a purple area down there so um yeah I recommend it it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be so I am on my way to pick up Megan we are going to probably Raleigh to get our nails done I got my nails done yesterday and I hate them absolutely hate them and I know people are gonna be like oh my god vanity materialistic I don't think you guys understand since I was in daycare I have been picking at my nails and biting my cuticles the only time when I don't do it is when I have acrylics or gel on my nails if I get a manicure and just do regular polish I still pick at them if I get them square shape like this which I really wanted to try this shape again and just get a natural elegant French manicure if I if I do this shape I pick at them and I was hoping I had broken that habit but I'm like I'm picking at them right now so I'm probably gonna go with her and have them soak these off because the guy that did them said the next time I come in I need to have them soaked off anyway but I don't like how the French is done. It it was one of those things where I felt like I was bugging him. So I basically just said it's fine. And just let it go because I had been there for so long. Like I, he did a good job. It's just not what I envisioned it to be. Like I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them soak these off. And I'm going to do the liquid gel. Because I really want that natural looking thing. I'm going through this natural phase as of lately. Um, I'm not wearing as much makeup anymore, which I did. I got my hair done yesterday from my friend Sarah and I love it, but I forgot how lighter hair makes my face look more red. I don't know why that is. Um, so I did put on a little bit of makeup so I don't, you know, scare you guys, but lighter hair does make my face look more red. I don't know, but I love how it is. I love, Arthur says it's too short. I don't know. I kind of like the cut, but from when I had fried it from going blonde, it's slowly growing out to the point where we are slowly cutting off the damaged ends because it, it's like, it just breaks, but it's about to about right here now where it's not as damaged anymore and I can get a brush through it. Um, but I did want a little bit of a change because I had been doing an ash color and it fades to like this weird diarrhea color. <laughs> if anyone has that same problem, please let me know because it was the most god awful poop colored green, like baby poop green, in some spots and it just looked dull and just ugh. So we did a simple caramel biolage and darkened up the roots a little bit because I, I like dark hair. I don't know why I wanted to do the blonde phase. I wanted, I had this whole like, oh my God, Khloe Kardashian, I love her hair. I want my hair to look like her. Nope. Nope, didn't look right. I'm going to stick with dark colors. But yeah, I'm headed to get Megan now. I have no idea where we're going to go. She wants to get her nose pierced, so maybe I'll film that too. I don't know. I'm getting into this thing where I like to film certain things that I know that I would be interested in. Like, 
the whole Juvederm nose job, which I did, um, the Brazilian wax, tonsils, I guess a nose piercing. You know, usually when I'm interested in something, the first thing I do is go YouTube it. And I want to have a channel that's very informative of like lifestyle things. Like, of course I still love makeup, of course I still love hair, but not everyone is going to want to do the makeup and hair. Like, even I'm getting kind of bored with that. Like, I, I don't watch as many makeup videos anymore because uh, it, it's just not really that, I guess, original anymore. Like, there's so many YouTubers now that nothing feels original. Like, everybody has the same background. Everybody has the same camera. Everybody has the same computer for editing. Everybody gets the same palette from all the same companies. And it's like, when you're vlogging, you can actually be original. And I like that. I do want to still do beauty videos, but a lot of the stuff I want to be very informative. Like, I don't want to just do a get ready with me and speed it up and show you how I do my makeup. I want to be able to show you, you know, hey, I put this on my face and this is how it worked out for me. And I want to be able to give you a true review without something being sponsored. Sponsored videos are getting way out of hand and it's like you never really know how this person feels. Like they'll say, oh, check out my, for example, sunglasses, sunglasses collection. It's like, would you have really bought those if the company hadn't sent them to you? So, I don't know. I, I'm enjoying vlogging. I like that I can actually sit down and talk to you guys. Some people might not like it, some people unsubscribe, some people subscribe. I mean, it's really kind of a hit and miss thing. YouTube is just a part-time thing. It's not my full-time job. Um, I have another job that I really, really love because I, I don't want to be one of those people that sit around the house all day. I mean, sometimes I do, <laughs> let's be real. But part of me also wants to be able to engage with other people. Like, even if I didn't have the job that I had now, and I just worked from home and I did YouTube. Like if I excelled in this and I, you know, got a couple hundred thousand subscribers and I was able to pay my bills with YouTube, I would still want to do something like freelance on the side, like personal training or going to the gym or, you know, facials, something that still makes people feel good. Because some people, they can still watch a YouTube video and they're not going to do some of the DIY stuff. They just like to watch it. They like for other people to do it for them because they don't have the confidence enough to do it themselves or they're scared they're going to mess up, which, I mean, I have that same problem too. So I want to be able to like still venture out and have people say, hey, how do you do this? Or how do you buy this? Or, you know, what's the best product for this? Or how is your experience with this? And, you know, actually be very personal with people. Like I'm an open book. There are a lot of TMIs on my channel. Sometimes I might you know, say a cuss word, but that's just my personality. Um, I don't ever want to like hold back from anything. Like I don't want to say, oh, my tonsillectomy was really horrible. No, my tonsillectomy, I wanted to kill myself. That's how real I want to be with you guys. So I am speeding. Holy moly. All right. So I'm going to get off get off the phone. No, I'm going to stop vlogging until I get to Megan's and then I'll vlog a little bit more because I need to focus on the room. And I will talk to you guys. Hi. Oh, I can't have that. Copyright. I gave Megan her little present. My hair does look really short. It looks cute. Did you like your present? I did. Do really you have cute. it with you? I do. It's in my purse. Yeah. So I got matching best friend bracelets and matching necklaces, but of course I forget to wear my necklace. So. Hi, Adam. Hi. Oh. Hi. What? <laughs> That's what he says to that. Let's see what we got here. You look really tan. Because I am really tan. <laughs> this tan game is on point. <laughs> see, my hair makes me look like weird the hair color don't you think so no it makes you look a lot older older not like old old you just got this mature person thing going on it's cute though that highlight though 
<laughs> Let's see. Let's see. See, we got matching best friend bracelets. They're so cute. Eh, okay. Yay. There we go. Yes. So cute. See, mine has the little tree and yours has love and two hearts. I like that. Yay. Okay, we got our nails did. These okay. look way better. Let me see yours. Let me see yours. If she was gonna get one color, I said do the black fringe. Yes, much better. Yes, yes. Mommy. Black. Oh, she just hit your head. <laughs> What you doing? <laughs> I was uh, playing a game on my phone. Are you losing? I'm dead. Yeah. Good. Yay. Hey, <laughs> so close. I gotta be so close. I'm not close. Yeah. I'm just looking at it from your point of view. Oh. I guess me and Grace are gonna hang out now. <laughs> Say bye bye, Grace. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>